Hi, I'm Jason, and this is my review on Spectre, the new James Bond 00 film. This is just a review of my personal feelings about the film. I'm going to try not to spoil the film, but I really do think that's going to be pretty impossible, as the trailers gave us everything we pretty much got. We know there's a Bond. We know there's a Bond villain. We know he's one of the biggest villains ever with Blofeld. We know it's the Spectre organisation. We know there's some sort of connection between Bond and between the Spectre organisation. But just in case, please press stop. Ian Fleming's James Bond has been the one series of films that has been constant through my lifetime. Yes, we've had some great series like Star Wars, we've had the Star Trek, we've even had Lethal Weapons, but no series has spanned across the time in the way that Bond has. I, I'm, I'm a pretty big Bond fan, I've, I've liked pretty much most of the Bonds. I'm a huge Sean Connery fan, loved Roger Moore, liked Pierce Brosnan, Daniel Craig's, he's a great Bond. Seen a raw, refreshing new take on Bond. Skyfall, best Bond movie I've seen in years. So when I heard all these people comparing Quantum of Solace with Spectre, I got a bit worried. For me, Quantum of Solace was a terrible Bond film. I did not enjoy that Bond film. It's not a Bond film I want to revisit. No, thank you. No, thank you. James Bond? Mixed feeling, really? Yeah, someone actually said terrible film. After seeing some of the reviews of Spectre and seeing people compare it to Quantum of Solace, I was like, Ooh, just be a good movie, please. Just just an even an average movie for Bond. That's all I need. Don't need it to be great, just need it to be okay and good. And we have the same director. We have the same director as Skyfall here. It was awesome, Skyfall. It was a great, fantastic movie. So I went to the cinema and I watched Spectre. And I can only say this. I think Quantum of Solace was the better film. Yeah, a film I never want to watch again was the better film. This film... I don't know, I don't know what went wrong. It's Spectre, it's Blofeld, it's James Bond's biggest adversary. And it falls flat on its face. This film is slow, it's boring, the action sequences are too short. The script doesn't give you any kind of real... <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot wrong with this film, there really is. Let me try and give you an idea of what... I, and when I looked around, most of the cinema seemed to be going through. I'll, I'll try and do it through actions, just to give you an idea what this film's like. You get a bit of action. Mm, that's not bad. And then it's a slow scene. Oh, was a bit of action. Oh, that was quick. Oh, oh, a little bit of action. Oh. Oh God, main base. Here we go. This is where it's going to start. Huh? Huh? It's over. That's what it felt like. I sat there in the cinema and for the first opening sequence, it started off slow and then it went into a big action sequence straight off that slowness. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. I kind of like that. For a start, it's a nice start. You know, it's not bad. And then the rest of the film didn't experience that again. I really didn't. Acting is fine. All the actors and actresses do a great job. If you tell me you're going to make another Bond film, you're going to have the same director, Sam Mendes, from Skyfall. You're going to have Christoph Waltz as Blofeld, Spectre organisation. I mean, that's like orgasmic. That's incredible. That's like, yeah. Everything points to this being an incredible movie. And it isn't. You have no emotional ties to any of the characters. You feel nothing for them. The relationship between Bond and Blofeld is described to you in a few throwaway sentences. Dave Batista, you could tell he worked hard on this part and he succeeded. He did a great job. The only problem was he was lacking a couple of extra lines or a couple of extra moments in the film to give him that bit extra of an oomph to make him one of the great Bond villains of the Bond series. Because he should have been. He really should have been. But that's kind of like what the film was like. It was just, it kept trying to hit points and kept missing. Dave Batusta had a fighting scene in this on a train. It was one of my favourite scenes of the film. Uh, the other scene being the very opener. None of the other action scenes did anything. It was just a car chase that wasn't really a car chase. It was a crash through a building that didn't really have anything else except a crash through a building. It was just one highlight after another of disappointment. Bond films are littered with these brilliant enemy bases. They are. 
this needed that it really did this needed the enemy base at the end of the film and it needed to stay there for 30 minutes for me to go okay i'll forgive it for the slow start but it didn't but the pace of the film is terrible it seems to have like this 20 30 maybe even longer i didn't time it so i don't really know but it, it felt like 30 40 minutes of nothingness it was a love scene that never actually happened and then it did happen I wish Bond would just sleep with the girl at the beginning and then just get on with the character development afterwards. I think that would have been a lot better in this film. If you go and see this movie, and you should all go and see this movie, come back, let me know what you thought. Tell me if it was good. Tell me if it was bad. Tell me what you think they could have done to improve it because they're, they're all watching. They will look through the YouTube and if there's a lot of things that we all agree on that they didn't like, they'll fix it for the next film for sure. So get, get your comments down in there. Also, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try and release a video every week. If you like my videos and you want to see more, please subscribe and please click that like button. Actually, here's an idea. Just for this one video, all of you go out and see Skyfall. Go and see it, everyone, right? And then I want you to come back to this website. If you like Skyfall, I want you to unlike my video. If you felt that similar sort of feel that I felt, click my like button. Don't forget, comments as well. Comments. At this time, I'm, I'm just going to give a one word impression of this film. Just one word. Fubar. 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 Fubar.